This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, you can stop. Uh, you can stop your writing me. And, oops, try, trying to figure out. We, shut up the music. All right, already. Uh, uh, you can stop uh, 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 sending me notes and everything like that. We know. Uh, you, we, we know. You know. It, it's obvious. We know what's going on here. We had a happening. We had a happening. Here's here's the deal. Uh, wait a minute. Let me let me let me uh, show you her. That's but that's uh, that's uh, that's her. The misses. Yeah, and then uh, I can show you us. Okay, so there's us. Okay. Uh, let me explain what went on tonight. Ten uh, minutes before you went on. Not ten minutes. About twenty minutes. All right. A little more than that. Twenty minutes. Uh, we have a situation in this apartment <laughs> where. It just is not air conditioner friendly. Uh, well, you know, well, well, the guy that had the apartment before us, his brother did the electricity. Yeah. And, and that, that I mean, it. we have a, a breaker thing, but the, it, when this happens, the breakers don't work. It goes right to the basement. You know, if, if the breaker just went, then we just go, oh, well, we'll have to redo Fix the break, turn it back on. Um, so anyway... Uh, what happens is there's a breaker in the basement. There are two of them. Major breakers. Two of them. Major breakers for the whole apartment, right? If you want to turn off the whole apartment, you turn off both breakers. If, but the, the, the major one, where the air conditioning is and so on, is on this one breaker down there. And for some reason, when this thing blows, it, it doesn't just go to one of our breakers here and say, well, it's just too much and... You know, no, it blows downstairs. But does it go to other apartments too? I think they have this problem in all of the apartments. Okay, wow. uh, you know, we're not the only one. But anyway, so here's what happens, okay? So the, the breaker blows, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, 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 uh, it uh, goes bad on me. Wait, but can I just say, meanwhile, it's 100% humidity because we have this huge storm. It, well, it's not 100% yet. What do you mean it's not a hundred percent yet? It's been raining off and on all night. Anyway, let me let me continue to explain this whole thing. So the breaker is in the basement, and I can't you can't get into the basement because it's the basement and it's locked, sealed. Sealed. Well, so we call the super, and he's not here. We you called him again, and his guy in the uh, his assistant or something in the Bronx. Yeah, in the Bronx. Said, I can't help you. I'll be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So this means that we have no electricity. It, basically, in this part of the apartment, we have a corner. And also, believe it or not, the, uh, the, uh, the gas range has electricity over hmm. there. Well, great. We could heat up the house. That might be a place for us <laughs> to put the coffee maker. But anyway, so here's what happened. So she's got to have the air conditioning. So she can't just have it on light. She can't have it on energy saving. She's no, gonna have no, it on full blast. No, don't blame it on me. That's just to get it cool, anyway, and then I always turn it down. And, and, However, and I said, so you know, I have to make coffee for the show, but let's let's make it and see what happens. Because if it blows now, at least the super will be around. But he's on vacation. But wait, he this happened one time before, and he said to you, "I'm not." Yeah, you know, next time if it happens at no, night. I said, what happens if it happens in the middle of the night, I said. And he said, well, then we can't do anything until the morning. Right. I said, but if certainly if I call him at 9 and he's here, he'd be happy to run down there and turn the thing on. on. So uh, I immediately, you know, I, I know I've got a show to do. This always happens. You know, this never happens at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It always right. happens just before I'm ready always. to go on the air. And all these machines, to do this show, all these machines have to be restarted. Okay, and reset up and all of that. Anyway, I so I go downstairs uh, and there's the guy who is our guard. Make believe guard. No, he's a he's nice, a present. He's a present. He, he sits there and he's there till about eleven o'clock at night. Yeah, but nobody sees him. And I him. said, our our the fuse in the basement went to our apartment. He says, okay, well come on, let's go down. I know where it is. And we went down. And we tried to turn it on, but it wouldn't go on. And I, so we figured maybe it was. So I came up, and the electricity still wasn't on. So I went back down there, and we pulled it all the way down so it, until it clicked. And then we put it up, and it, it went Good. on. Okay. 
So it's, it's, it's rather flaky, okay, to say the least. All right. But he didn't tell you the most important part, the well, reason why it went off. Well, no, here, here's the thing. Now, what, what <laughs> did we turn on? Now, microwaves. You know, microwaves you get, you know, last are time, Last time this happened was because I turned on the microwave and had the air conditioning going. And I, I thought I had the air conditioner on another circuit altogether, right? But apparently not. So it went when I used the microwave. So that's when the super went down, turned it back on. And he said, I'll come up in a few days and we'll figure out this whole thing. And he never has. So Well, when he comes back from vacation. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to nail him and say, come on, let's talk about this. Anyway. It wasn't the microwave, it was the coffee maker. The coffee maker. Now, the coffee maker uses electricity, but come on, it doesn't suck it out in great quantities. I understand why air conditioners are a problem, okay? You couldn't settle for a Coke. And the worst thing, <laughs> the, the worst energy consumer that you've got in your household is the microwave. microwave. I mean, in apartments where I haven't had this problem, I've still blown fuses. Yeah. Uh, I had an old apartment, still had one of those screw fuses. I had that. So we had a whole, I had a whole box of those. So in case any, I, I was using the microwave and then I was using something else and, pfft, you know. So anyway, we went completely dark in this apartment except for one little corner where there's a lamp, okay. And, uh, uh, and then I had to get this whole thing back up and running. And here he is, only about. And here we are. We got on about, I started transmitting about 12 minutes past the hour. So, I mean, it, I have so, to give you know, you take know. my hat off to you. You really are a pro. I mean, you got that up and going. We have a picture of you. Yes, you do have a picture of us. Uh, here, uh, I hear you and Marjorie in the background behind, behind the feed. What is what, what is that behind the feed? What is behind the feed? What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Hold on a second. Let me look at something. Let me make sure. Uh, you know, people people start telling me what the problems are and what they can hear and what they can't hear and uh uh no it's on line in uh, yeah line in uh, we're we're fine we're fine where you you i don't know why you say i hear you and marjorie in the background oh behind the feed that was in the beginning when i had the mic open and we were talking while the stuff was playing <laughs> yeah okay so that was from phil uh let's see here and renee collins says uh, yeah, yeah, have, we have a picture of you, yeah, and we're, we're up and running. We're up I mean, and running, here we go, we're, another we're, Friday we're, night. We're up and running, I mean, I just, I, we just got to do something about this, Yeah. you know, uh, either that, maybe, maybe we can just run a wire all the way from that air conditioner around the outside <laughs> into, the building. In, into that other plug that doesn't blow, you know, I mean, or something. Or drill a hole. Drill, drill a hole. Yeah, that would be a good idea. You and know? then all the rats will come up through it. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I could get him to drill a hole. That would yeah. be good. And then Feed say, it. look. But then, we have that other air conditioning. It couldn't take two air conditioners. No, 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 no. Forget that one. Now, this one and the that one never on at the same time. They, they don't blow fuse. They don't blow the fuse downstairs, but they do blow the, the Each switcher. Other. The switcher. But anyway. Oh. Um, uh, but maybe I could get him to drill a hole big enough to put the cord through and, the, and to plug it into there, and then it'll be fine. Anything's okay. possible. Anything's possible. But anyway, so. I think you should, I should roll on over. Hmm. So tomorrow, um, tomorrow, we, because I'm not going to be here, will you call uh, Jose's number and talk to this guy? And he said he'll be there in the, at 8. Well, but I... You know, so what do I do? Tell him I'll, I'll be at the gym. Well, when you come home. Yeah, well, he'll be here. No, I'm going out to Queens. Well, you don't go out till 11. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get up till 10. I gotta get out of here. But anyway, let him know what happened and then find out when our when our super is gonna be back so I can... Tell him that we went now down the basement? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, tell him that the guy was there, you know, and we went down to the basement and, 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 and we flipped it, you know. But that... Uh, um, uh, you know, we, we need to we need to deal with this, um, but uh, maybe for the time being, I can just get another longer cord and run it out the side or something. I would I just don't. leave it. He'll probably be back in a week. He'll probably be back in a week. No, he they said he was back this week during oh, okay. the, during the week or something. Okay, so right. there you go. You know, maybe we can talk to this other guy and have him drill a hole. Okay, I don't. Should I roll on over? No. 
It's time. Is it time? What yeah. time is it? No, it's not time yet. Well, it's time for you to start it's turning not, everything it's on. It's not time. And, what, and what? sir, sir, oh, sir. What, what? You're on air. It doesn't show up that well. I anyway. see it. You see it. There you there go. There we go. There you go. Gee, yeah. Hey, look over there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I turned it off. Uh, uh, I'm rolling over. No, you're not rolling over yet because we're not ready to take calls. Oh, I am. Now, I assume my Skype is going to work okay. You know, I have no, no doubt about that. But, you know, uh, I, have to, I had to start everything up again. You were, and, you're a pro. You really did a good job. Well, it, it, look, the good job was turning on the electricity because when I went down there the first time, we tried to flip it up and we, it was, just wasn't catching, but we figured maybe it was on. And then I, when I, we did it the second time, I went up there and I just held on the thing and pulled it all the way down till I heard the latch go click. And then I went up and it went click. I'm thinking to myself, what hotel can I go to tonight? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a pleasant situation. It's hot. It really Even is. Even the ceiling fans were off. Huh? The ceiling fans are off. Oh, they're on now. Well, I put it on. Oh, did you turn this one? Yeah. On? You turned this. Yeah. One? Oh. Okay. Well, you know, if we have no electricity, you know, that's a real problem for us. Major so. problem in the summer. Oh boy. It's like no gas in the winter. And but there's got to be there's got to be some of way course. for them to do something. You should see these switches downstairs. They're probably I mean, as old these as the things building. are probably were put in when they first put electricity in the building. And they had fabric covering yeah. the wires. I mean, if I had an ability to get down to the basement, whether anybody was here or not, I could do it myself. That's that's no problem, but I can't. But the only the only positive thing is, is the building three elevator is right there. So I just bring it down to the basement and take it all oh, the way okay. up. Yeah, that's good. my that's, my return trip. That's good to know. But the guy, the, the, the guy downstairs, very helpful. You know, very helpful. He's and nice. He, but and he knew he knew what to do and he knew where it was. Okay, and, then they probably had that before. Yeah, and so I've got it. We've got it. Yeah. We've got to do something about this. Yeah. You All know. right, I'm rolling over. You, you, you're just determined to roll over, well, aren't you? I'm you tired. just you just want to roll over. Here, here she comes, ladies here and gentlemen. She is. Here Keep she is. Here she is. I'm going to roll over your huh? feet. I'm going to roll over your feet. Uh, on, 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 on my feet. On your chunky feet. On my chunky little feet. You're going to do that, are you? Uh, hold on a second. I just got to move some stuff here so that I don't. Uh, I'm 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 just doing a little little work here, folks, that I need to do. To get things ready for the panel, uh, let me move this over there. Okay, and I think I'll turn on the um, Skype. I'll turn on the Skype and see what happens. Um, it was the feed. It's the, it's on. It's fine now. Thank you very much, Phil. I, I'm glad you told me that. That I know now we, that we, it's we, it, we that it's that. fine. Yeah. You know, it's like we didn't know there was something wrong, Phil. Uh, you know, it, no, it was all your fault, Phil. There was there was nothing wrong with uh, us. We've been on for all this time. It was just you, Phil. It was God getting you for being a Republican. Anyway, uh, we have the Skype lines open now, and people can call because as she she absolutely wants to do it at ten thirty, and then she, you took your sleeping pills. Well, I didn't. I you know I thought it was talk into the mic. Uh, well, you got it all the way over there. I thought it was a lost evening for me. You thought you thought it was a lost evening, so you took your <laughs> sleeping took pills, pills and, and all of that. Yeah. And so you must be getting groggy right I now. Am. That's yeah. why I'm waiting for Phil so, to call. So we're just waiting for some of you to call, and that shouldn't be a, much of a problem. The other thing I had when I came back here, I hate the this PC. This P, PC stands for piece of chit. Uh, I tried to uh, take it, and um, when I when I rebooted it, all the icons oh, were in the wrong well, place. That happens yeah. all the time. Does that happen to you at, at your office? Sometimes. Yeah, it, it really is. Yeah, it sucks. really sucks. Yeah, but anyway, so we're we're just sitting here waiting for people. We're just to call. waiting. But in case you just tuned in, or you tried to tune in earlier, and you wonder what happened. We lost all electricity practically in the apartment because the coffee maker blew the electricity. So now we know. So now we know. You know, I mean, it's, it's it, I, it, we've got to do something about it. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just wondering where, 
where I could uh, I could plug that thing in that it wouldn't be a problem. Well, let, let, let Jose come uh, he'll, he'll, yeah. he'll figure it yeah. out. Yeah, he'll figure it out. And when he oh, comes, I, he can fix the ceiling that he said he would do. Well, I guess n nobody nobody is going He's to... calling? Is calling. No, nobody nobody wants to talk to me, I guess. Please, I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, no. There are a lot of people out there watching and listening and What's Brian like doing? What's but, a, but there, in fact, we, we have a lot, lot more people watching us than normally watch us. Because it's always when things happen. Yeah, but I have the Skype line is open, and uh, you know, I just we just sit here waiting for people, I guess. Or we could just turn the whole thing off the way it was. You know, I mean, why'd I work my ass off to get us on the air, right? Where is everybody tonight? Now, where is everybody tonight? Yeah, well, you know, I say this now, but then come, uh, ah. come a little bit from now. Well, here's uh, here's right. Kevin, and there we go. And here's Phil. here 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 comes Phil as well. Let me see here. Uh, 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 Phil, turn down your audio. Somebody's got their audio up. Okay, all right. Let me. Uh, huh? There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, fine. So anyway, right. hello everybody. How are you? Yeah, you're ungrateful. What do you mean I'm ungrateful? Uh, you know, and and you don't read your messages on a timely basis. Uh, there was six six minutes of dead air. Yeah. I, we know wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Phil, how in the world am I supposed? Wait a minute. How in the world am I supposed to read your fucking messages when I don't have any electricity? How am I you supposed to do phone? that? Huh? You got an iPhone? No, hey. but it, I wasn't using the iPhone. Is not hooked up to my to my, to any of those things. Here's Scott. Okay. Hey, hey, good All to right. see you. Here comes six minutes of dead air. I got a hold of Damien. He put the feed on. All right, so it wasn't dead. Then I hear you and Marjorie. The mic is live. <laughs> yeah. And and you and you're and you're dancing <laughs> back and forth. Hey, 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 hey. We didn't have electricity. Okay, get off my fucking back. You're, you don't appreciate when people try to help. No, no, you weren't helping. You weren't helping. Hey, do yeah, you know? I'm do you know you're not on the, the air? Yeah, live. I think I know. I'm not on the air. No, no, but the mic was and, live. And I don't know how I then. I don't know how I then got on. I don't know who's trying to call, but it's the Mike, one. Mark Green. It, Mark Green is trying to call, but he's back, Mark. he's doing it the wrong way. So, and I can't uh, I can't put him on the other way. So. Call it's uh, been a while since that. Mark's Mark's called. You might yeah. have to tell Put him. Put on hold and go get him. Mark, don't don't call us using a previous uh, a previous what what do you call it? Previous, Number. Uh, previous thing. Are you, are you uh, who, who who's the telephone? Who called us on the telephone? Who's this? Hey, this is Scott from Plano. Who? Oh, it's Scott, Scott from Plano. From Plano. Hey. But why are you calling on the phone? Well, I'm in, I'm in uh, uh, my mother-in-law's house, and we don't have internet connection, oh. so I don't want to burn up all my data on my hotspot. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Three days in my phone, so. Okay, so <laughs> that, I just want to know who the... I can't, we can't hear you that well, Scott. Well, Are you on yeah, speaker? Got... Are you on a speaker phone? Is that why what's happening? Yeah, yeah. Let me take the speaker off. Yeah, if you take the speaker off, you probably sound terrific. Right Huh? Is it better? Yes. Much, oh, much better. Yeah. We'll yeah. plug a headset in. Yeah. Now, Mark uh, Green. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mark Green, if you're listening, you tried to call in using a previous group of people or whatever. What would we call it? Previous uh, group. Uh, you know. It was a history call. Yeah, a history call. You got to call. Just call Gabnet Live directly. Just call and, us directly. And or make sure your Skype is updated. Because we've all made sure our Skype was updated. The only person so, who hasn't updated his Skype is uh, Jack Bishop. <laughs> oh, so there you go. But Mark hasn't been able to get in for a while, so maybe he needs to update his Skype. Yeah, he he still has the Skype where it's spelled with an I when they you know first started. Did they have it with? No, an no. I? We have seven and a half on the screen, so uh, uh, you know we've got room for three more. We got room for three more, yeah. But anyway, um, uh, let me uh, let me uh, also uh, do. Someone also in the chat asked you to friend them so that they could call, and I forget who it was, but let me go look. Well, I don't have to, you know. I really don't have to do that anymore. If they just call and and I and uh, I just can just hang up on them and then just call them right back. 
You know, I can do that. So he hangs up on them because he doesn't appreciate them either. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, but anyway, no, no, and I appreciate that all of you are worried, but, but, uh, it, you know, it's you know what it is. It, it, when you I know went, what it is. It, it, it's at that very time that I'm trying to get everything together here that I'm looking over and Phil's going, do you know you're off the air? Really? You know, you have you know what? If you I think. And know. did Damien ran something for a little bit? Uh, he put on the live stream so of, of previous shows so that uh, oh. it wouldn't be dead air. Oh, okay. Well, wait a minute. I just want to make sure that, that that's... Yeah, it's off. It's, it's, it's off. off. It's yeah. off. Yeah. And hello to Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Good. How are you guys yeah. doing? Yeah. I've just been having... Well, I've just been having problems tonight. I heard you, a little bit of that. As you can, uh, you can well imagine. Another night. Another night, yeah. Uh, so, you know... Uh, Marjorie, keep them straight. Yeah. I'm trying, but he was my hair the light. He went down and fixed it. And gee, now my my uh, my uh, things aren't working here. Oh, that's fine. Uh, uh, that's good. Oh, there, there are a few things I got to do while you guys are talking. Anyway. I'm gonna say good night. Okay. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good night. Renee, great to see you, Renee. Call in more. Bye. Yeah, she, calls, she calls in all the time. No, but Friday. Call in on Friday. On um, Friday. <laughs> but you have call on Fridays because he I'm usually has pants. a big group. So. Yeah, she's wearing pants. And uh, um, yeah. that was a lot of, that was a, uh, I, I was amazed that I actually got myself back on as fast as I did. I was planning that this thing wasn't going to get on till about 1030. Uh, and uh, uh, we just managed to do it faster, you know, so what the Jack, hell. Jack, you have a sailor shirt on, a sailing logo shirt? Yes, I do. Uh, so show us all your your ads. How many ads do you have on that thing? Uh, let me like see here. Six? Who's calling? Oh, here's Mark Green. Add to group. There we go. Hello, <laughs> Hello Mark. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Fine. Uh, is that appropriate? There we go, and we got we got him too. See, see how easy that is. All right, okay, that's terrific. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm I, you know I'm, uh, I'm I'm doing a few things here I should have done earlier. So hold on just a second while I do them because uh, I'm having to bring up a bunch of. There we go. That's that one. Okay, now we're fine. Um, no, I just had to. Uh, I had to start up uh, 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 my network drive so I could go back and forth between them if I need to. Anyway, now we're ready. We're all fine. So, when hello. Are you going on vacation. What? <laughs> when, when are you going on vacation? Uh, probably in two or three years. We haven't figured out no, yet. No, no, seriously. No, I don't know. I really don't I know. Like are you going to San Francisco? No, I don't know. I just don't know what we're going to do or where we're going to do it. I don't, you know, I don't have a lot of bucks right now, uh, but I, I'm going to put out a chunk of change and probably have us go to Europe somewhere, or go to the Far East or something. I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, I, the only reason I ask is I want to send you that microphone, but I don't want it sitting on, in the lobby for three weeks. You know. Well, I'm not going to be on vacation if you send it now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, um, you know what I saw? Uh, you ever watch this Anthony Bourdain? Pl uh, pl you look pl like him. Places unknown. What? What do you mean? I look like him? When, when you were younger, you looked like him. No, I didn't. I, yeah, I always thought you did. To begin with, he's got bad teeth. Well. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I so I uh, I I I did this. Uh, so anyway, I was watching this Anthony Bourdain thing. This uh, Parts Unknown, it's called, I think, is yeah. the name of it. And uh, he showed Granada in Spain, and I went, "That's for me," <laughs> you know. Was you've Granada. never been there? Yeah. No, I've never been to Granada. I mean, I've been to Barcelona. Well, I've, been. I've been to Ibiza. I spent a lot of time in Ibiza in my time, you know. I haven't been to. Uh, um, so I, I got mean, off ship in Mallorca from the uh, cruise ship. Well, Mallorca. I'm not that. I've never been that hot about Mallorca, although. It, it because uh, but Ibiza used to be a place that hardly anybody went, so I went there and loved it. And there was yeah. no electricity in the uh, in the country when you got outside the city. It's kind of like me in just my like, apartment. Just like, house, just yeah. like my apartment. <laughs> I was having a little Ibiza well, party tonight. Yes, Jeff. All I know about Ibiza is because of you, Alex. You you always told us about it. Well, I I I started going to Ibiza in about 1975, 76, sometime around in there. And I 
it was an island of basically thieves, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody there was either an expat or was uh, was uh, running uh, drugs from uh, uh, from Morocco, uh, like hash and things like that. Or uh, there was there's one guy there with a big lump on his head. We call him Lou, Louis the Lump, and supposedly the rumor was he killed somebody once. You know, <laughs> it was like living Casablanca. You know. Yeah. And I love the place, and I kept going back, and it it, it always kind of rejuvenated me in a, in a strange way. There was a, kind of an, a, a magic in the air there that I felt. And I kept going back there for many years, and the last time I went back was 1997. But at that point, all of a sudden, the rest of the world discovered Ibiza, and now it's like where the Kardashians go to spend their vacation. Okay, Tur- Turks you know. and Caicos became the same kind of thing. Y- yeah. You know, at one point, it was a real quiet, sleepy place. That yeah. It was only yeah. visited by a few, and now it's uh, resorts everywhere. Yeah. So uh, uh, you know, uh, if it, but uh, I never would. Everybody went to Mallorca. That was the place people went, and I didn't go to Mallorca for that reason. And now I think I might go to Mallorca because it's probably a lot better than Ibiza when it comes to being quiet. <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm, except when the cruise ships pull up. Except when the cruise ships pull up, yeah. But you know, I uh, um, I loved Ibiza. I really loved it. But I I wouldn't go back. I don't think I'll go back again. I don't think there's. I don't think there's a reason to. You know. So where in Europe would you go? I don't know. I mean, you know, I saw this thing uh, that he did on Granada, and Granada just is wonderful. You've got the Alhambra down there, yeah. and uh, you've got uh, people who live in caves there, and uh, um, it's the only place left in Spain where uh, you get free tapas. Really? And, yeah. Every time you buy a drink, you get a plate of tapas. Wow. A, a different plate every time, but you got to keep dr- you got to keep drinking. Okay, in order to keep starve. eating. What? You don't starve, you don't drink. I know. I'm, <laughs> one, I'm wondering if they would count a Coca-Cola where they charge me like three euros, the equivalent of drinking, you know, a beer or something like that. You know. But um, just to eat lunch, you could probably get pretty loaded. You know? yeah. so. Anyway, uh, uh, Gr- 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 Granada looked good. Um, uh I don't know. I, I, have, I have to figure out where I want to go. I'd like, I'd like, I'd wear, and we, she'd like to go too, you know. Um, do, yes, Jeff. Do either of you speak Spanish? Do either of us speak Spanish? Um, I speak, I spoke a little bit of it when I was there a lot. Probably I've forgotten more than I learned, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, uh, um, the great thing about the Spanish is if you don't speak Spanish, they will spend a half an hour trying to help you anyway, yeah. <laughs> trying to figure out what you're saying and, and help you, uh, which is what I love about the Spanish. I mean, the Spanish are wonderful, wonderful people. The terrible people are the French. Uh, the French, if you ask them in perfect French how to get somewhere, they'll act like they don't know what you're saying. You know, so. Yeah, uh, I know. I, I uh uh, was having dinner in a French restaurant once. It was not a fancy place. And my kids were with me. And I asked them um, of a glacé, uh, a vanilla glass, uh, uh, vanilla uh, ice cream. Yeah. I forgot. I used to know what vanilla was. And um, the guy came back with a banana. And he said, and he says, you know, uh, he, said, and he, he knew that I asked him for vanilla ice cream. But it, it was joking. He came back with a banana. <laughs> My little kid says, "No, Daddy, that's not ice cream." <laughs> wow, yeah. Well, I, you know, I so I, uh, um, um, what the hell, you know? I, I so someplace, I don't know, go someplace. I, I, Mar- Marjorie has been talking about Spain, going to Barcelona, and so on, and uh, you know, I might that I might go for that. You know, that that's as that's as good an idea as any. Yes, uh, Renee. Have you ever been to Portugal? Have I ever been to Portugal? Uh, no, I have not. I hear it's wonderful. Isn't there something going on there right now? Huh? Isn't there something going on there right now? I don't remember what the situation was, but there was some issue, an outbreak of something, or um, uh, some political unrest. 
I, I don't think I or there was maybe was something. Anybody hear anything about that? Vous ah. <laughs> ah, we got some. That's all I can say. <laughs> you would think after living in San Jose, I would actually have know some Portuguese, but I don't know any. The That's only, a huge Portuguese community. The now. only the only Portuguese I knew was I used to be the announcer for the Portuguese Voice of Marin. Mm. <laughs> uh, and they did a, a radio program. Uh, this guy, Agnel Clementino, did a show every day for about 45 minutes. And uh, I had to introduce it in Portuguese. And it was like written out for me phonetically. I can't even remember, you know. I, I remember saying, Boa tarde, Agnel, you know. And uh, that was about it. And uh, then he would do his show, and I wouldn't understand a word of what he was saying. But the funny thing about Agnell was he smoked a lot. So as a result, he also coughed a lot. And we didn't have a cough switch cough or button. cough button in the studio. <laughs> so when he wanted us to cut the mic, he would give this kind of sign, like, you know, cut across his throat, right? <coughs> And that was pretty cool. I like that. However, however, uh, we also liked, and we liked Agnell, but we also liked to give him a bad time. So sometimes when we'd see that he was going to start coughing, we'd turn our head so that he would think that we didn't see him asking us to cut the mic. But we would see it, and we would cut the mic, but he wouldn't know that. We just turned down the volume so the light wouldn't go out, right? And he would sit there getting redder and redder. It looked like he was going to explode. And then finally we went, oh, okay, yeah, we'll cut it. Again. You know, I dated a Brazilian gal, and that language wasn't that pretty, you know? She what? Was, but Portuguese the... is a beautiful language. You think so? Are you it didn't sound that uh, way to Republican me. like you, you would think it was. No, yeah. so hold on a second. There in when we were in Brazil, those people in Brazil did not like the fact that they would hear Portu their language in the European style. So if you wanted to piss off the Brazilians speak Portuguese from Europe. And they knew the difference, but they did not think that's funny. No, I always thought Portuguese, though. I always thought Portuguese and Brazilian, always a very kind of soft language, had a very nice kind of romantic sound to it. Whenever she talked to her friends, it didn't uh, didn't sound that way to me. Probably. Maybe, maybe she was talking about me. Oh, probably she told you she was Portuguese, <laughs> but she was really German and wanted to uh, bake Brazilian. your little Jew body. Uh, yes, Jeff. And a liberal. Yes, Jeff. No, wait a minute. Your mic isn't on, Jeff. Oh. I can hear a chair. Now I'm on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're on. Sorry. Sorry. Um, anyway, in Brazil, if you are talking to the driver of a car or whatever, and you don't speak Portuguese very well, so, you know, Spanish... And, Hi everybody. This is the what? Uh, this is the second. We had a power failure earlier tonight. Then I did the show, and then during that, there was another like spike. Everything went dark for a second and came back up, and of course, all my computers stopped. All right. No, you had a power failure. We didn't. You yeah. didn't. Somehow the Skype kept going. Yep. Yeah. So I don't know what the what the deal is there. But hello everybody. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Do I have a theme song here somewhere? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Now the, that we're, won't start we're, up. Oh. We're one hour into a two-hour show, and now he's replaying. We're one hour <laughs> into a two-hour show. Uh, hey, everybody, listen. This is Gabnet. The he just disconnected. Yeah. No, he didn't. No, you, no, you, he you won't hear it. You won't hear this. Uh, he's, he's popping in and out. Uh-oh. Yeah. But anyway. Okay. Okay. So I played the, the required theme and all of that. Okay. All right. All right. You couldn't hear any of that because that doesn't play well on your. You could put it, if I put it up here, you'd be able to hear it. Can you turn some stuff you're not using off in your apartment? What? Can you turn off stuff that you're not using in your apartment? It's all off. Physically shut it down. It's all off. Printers, other fans in other rooms. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful that everybody wants to be a. a, a Engineer. A, 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 it's Matt. A, a Monday morning quarterback here, but uh, 
The fact of the matter is that uh, we have not had any problems except for that air, for the air conditioner with something else going. That's all. This latest thing that just happened, I don't know why it happened. You know, it wasn't the, the breaker in the basement. Otherwise, it wouldn't have come back. I would have had to gone down to the basement and turned it on again. That's not really true. No, it is true because I know I've talked to my, my, my super about it. Do you know more than he does? It's an electrical issue and there's load issues and there's amount of ampage and wattage that you need to take care of that doesn't suck out the stuff because you have the air conditioner. Down. I know. And I agree, I, take, I agree oh. with you 100% and I'm going to get the, the, the super to start working on that starting on uh, when he gets back from vacation. In the, mean, okay. in the meantime, you know, but this second outage that we had, I think had nothing to do with the first outage. I mean, really nothing to do with it because it wasn't the same the na same nature. And I also ran in to see if any of the breakers went off and none of the breakers went off. It was just, maybe it could have been the whole building. You know, there was just a yes. spike. Yes, yes, Jeff. How old is that building? This building oh, old. is 116, 117 years old. Hmm. And you wonder why there's some. I problems. think I answered the question. You answered the question. Thousand cabinet bucks. You know, uh, but I mean, you got it, lots of problems in that building. Uh, uh, oh, by nature, I'm surprised we're still. I'm surprised we're still alive. You know, they try to burn you down. Huh? They try to burn you down just to get you out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. They take away your gas. Maybe you were better off with no gas. It wouldn't have blown up, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after, after the fire. But, you yeah. know, so, we're, so I mean, this is, you know, this is uh, par for the course. So, hi, everybody, if you're just watching uh, on our, uh, I'm surprised anybody watching on anything. We're also, okay. yeah, we're going out on, we're going out on the internet as well with hey, the audio. Keep... What? Okay. But does somebody have something to say here? Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, you were a busy guy there for a few minutes. <laughs> what? What was he doing? What was Kevin? What was Kevin doing? I don't know. He's he's doing a lot of work back in his his place there. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, let me see. see here. I don't think the speaker's on. Or there it is. Yeah. You okay, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this big old laser printer. printer. Printer was sitting on my wife's chair, and she wants to finish her jewelry here, so I had to unoccupy the chair. Anyway, oh, let me see here. Here comes here comes Brian as well. So this makes it a full house, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, if your wife ever wants to show us some of her jewelry, we'd like to see it. Yeah. Oh, who, who? Firecracker Designs. She's Thank got a you. Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, Without the C. Uh, so Firecracker. C R A K E R. Hello, Brian. Thank you. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, fine. Good. Yeah, good. As for, for as, we'll hear you for as long as there is a, uh, <laughs> as long as I don't blow up here, you know. Um, In what way are you referring? Well, you, you haven't been listening to the show, obviously. So you don't know that we've been having, uh, having electrical problems where everything <sighs> just completely goes off, you know. Mm. It's not fun. Okay. It's not just Skype, then it's other things. Oh, no. It's, 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 Actually, it's, Skype worked. <laughs> Skype kept working. That's the funny part about it. Yeah, Skype worked. Everything else crashed. I, 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 guess, I, guess, I guess there's an advantage to the new Skype, right? <laughs> yeah. We gotta, oh, my God. We have I to went say on, something. I, I lost all my Skype. electricity. All my machines had to reboot, do a reboot, right? And uh, then we, uh, we were off to the races. Um uh, who's that? It says Phil Meyer and Kevin and a bunch of oh Firecracker Designs. Thank you. Oh, I just put I just sent that to Renee on the oh, conversation oh. thing. Oh, I see. Okay, Thank you. all right. I appreciate that. Well, this has certainly been one for the books. This is not good. Uh, this is this one isn't going to be posted. Uh, nope. You had no the best tapes. conversation when we were off the air. Yeah, well, maybe I'll I've, just... Tapes on this one. Maybe I'll just... I got 50,000 gab, Gabnet bucks saying we're going to drop it one more time mm -hmm. before the end of the show tonight. <laughs> Calling it at 5.04. Anybody else want in? <laughs> can you see my video? Yeah, I can see your video. Yeah, yeah we can see it. Because I can't see any of yours. Oh. Hmm. might be one well, other uh, 
I don't know. Well, I yeah, have, you're in a different no, room, a have, different chair. I, I have no explanation for that. But let me. I am. Let me just Take say. Page to, from the Rob let, Alfano let me playbook. just say to uh, Renee that gonna, the last relaxed position. The earlier blowout was the fuse downstairs. This wasn't the fuse downstairs. It doesn't just suddenly go out. This was momentary. Lights went out. Boom. Lights came back up. Everything came back up, and of course, everything was rebooting. Power they uh, they call the thing I was talking about a UPS backup. Look, I don't give a shit, Phil. I've heard of a UPS backup. I know what they are, and I it's I've never had a need for one in all these years. And I really wouldn't have been, a UPS backup would have put me on for about a half hour, and that's it. Right. Okay. So it does I, that. I, does I can tell you though, when the UPS backs up around here, it's like e e e. Yeah. 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 So you know, I mean, I don't, I don't need that. What I need is a good electrical source in this apartment. Now we have not had in all the time that I've been doing GabNet, we have not had this power a power problem. Okay. So don't tell me what I need and what I don't need. You know, well, you're having a lot of heat up because, there, right? You know. Yeah. They're hot. Yeah. yeah. It's just a strain on the grid. Not yeah, now. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure the second blip was, it looked like it was something that would happen, but from the power company. You know. You've got a really old building with a real a bunch of electric, uh, electrical oh, work you, in there, you, you, and probably from many people. You should see these switches yeah. downstairs. The one that was mine, it, it it's... I swear, it probably was the original switch from when they put electricity in the building. <laughs> you would think it it's lost wires. It's Sing Sing Prison on the electric chair. Yeah. You would think yeah. it would scare the hell out of you that that building is a fire trap. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. not a fire trap, oddly enough. It's only a fire trap if you're in the apartment that get, catches on fire. Because, well, what happens if it catches? No, because, I mean, like, no we've had, we've had apartments. What about that one in London? We have we have apartments. We've apartment had apartments that catch fire here, and it never spreads because these walls are like you know they're concrete. They're they you know they make they literally maintain the fire work to where it is. So I mean we had one right down here a couple of years ago, and it never left the apartment. But however, the fire department does come along and decide they're going to ruin the apartment house anyway. Yeah, Patrick. By Brian is calling. I'm sorry, I can't take you, Patrick. Brian, because uh, you want me to drop. We already have a Patrick. No, and and uh, and also because uh, uh, we have a full house. We can't put any more people on. Otherwise, the electricity will blow. Uh, I'm wondering, have you tried to add an eleventh lately with the new the new Skype? I, yeah, let's I, try I'm, it. I'm told you. I'm told it's you can only. I'm told with video you can <laughs> only do else. ten. With audio, I can do up to twenty-five. Right. But we don't know with the new version if that's still true, right? It, it, yeah. I, everything I've read, it's still true. Oh, yeah. okay. Do you really think they're going to give us something more for our money? Come on. Oh. Hey, they fixed a few things. That's all you can ask for. Especially if they're the only game in town. Well, you know, I, I, I do I do have to say that the current Skype I'm using is a vast improvement over the one I was using. Okay. Oop, two nice things about Skype in one night. No, everybody's everybody's picture is uh, crystal clear. Uh, and uh, it, it doesn't look like anybody has bandwidth issues. Uh, You're all wide. I know that Patrick used to have a lot of bandwidth issues, and he doesn't have any. If Tommy, uh, next time Tommy Amaguchi calls, if, if if it's clean with Tom, then I know you know we're okay. And here comes Christine calling. Who the hell is Christine? But Christine, I'm sorry, I can't I can't add you to the group. Christine lives in the Bay Area. Uh, Christine Hicks, I think. Yep, Christine yeah. Hicks. Uh, we can't take any more calls. Why is everybody wanting to call the program for crying out loud? Oh, Friday geez. night. You know what? I'm going to drop off and get dinner because it's 5-11, but I'll keep no, listening. No, no, no. Well, I, 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 Christine just hung up. Oh. Okay. I only see nine people. Is there is there 10? Well, there's no, there's a phone. No, I'm, uh, I'm the 10th. Here's a question. And, and Scott, are you, than... Scott, are you still there? Yes. Yes, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, okay. See. If 10 constitutes a full house, including the host, yeah. uh, can I additional see, people just message through Skype? Well, they could not call. They could message through Skype. I mean, I could put them on, but like, for instance, I'll put Christine on here and watch what happens. I don't think I can add her to the group, okay? 
Let's give it a try. Hello, Christine. Are you there? Yeah, how the hell not? Well, she's hi, handsome. How are you? Oh, you're using uh, she, oh, no problem. She's using a phone. Yes, so, but we shouldn't yeah. have matter, right? You no, know, that I think that's uh, that 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 does matter. Okay. Yeah. okay. So now we have uh, how many people do we have? We have eleven. Eleven, 11. people with me. Oh, Full so house like plus the, uh, right. Like the Scarface song goes, push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. But anyway, so that's the point of no yeah. return. The Eagles is take it to the limit. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, uh, let's see here. We did two shows tonight. I'm exhausted. Uh, oh, you did a rampage uh, segment. No, no, we did. What, what happened was, uh, you weren't here. I didn't have any electricity to go on till about uh, ten fifteen, and then I went on at ten fifteen and started doing the show. And then about eleven o'clock, uh, all of a sudden, I get this surge. And the lights all go out, and they come right back on again. But, of course, that was enough to turn off all the computers, which then all have to reboot at their various and sundry speeds. So, so at 10.15 is when Con Ed processed your payment? There is you that, that's probably oh. it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they went, oh, whoops. You oh, thought it was the switch. Yeah. Oh, oh God, my nose is itching and everything. So, anyway, uh, what's happening in the world? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, by the way, there's a very interesting... Uh, well, first, I want to tell you a story. I was going to read this last night, and I didn't have a chance to read it. And I, I thought it was an interesting story. A popular Internet personality who blogged about fitness, travel, lifestyles, fashion, and food was killed in a freak accident. <laughs> the family of Rebecca Berger posted a message on her Instagram oh, account yeah. saying, It is with great sadness we announce the death of Rebecca, who died June 18, 2017, in an accident in her, in her home. The Berger family also posted a warning. It turns out that she was killed by a whipped cream dispenser. Yeah, got oh, cream. No. Uh, when it exploded. Wow. So keep away. Wow. She's a, she was a French fitness model and it's died after the dispenser deal. reportedly exploded yeah, and, nice and, and it struck her in the chest. Anyhow, yeah, I know. Excuse me, I'm not picking my nose, folks. Just itching. Oh, sure. Face. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah you it, tell it, everybody that. Well, I do talk pick, about. I do talk pick about my, a freak accident. What, Didn't you pick, say as a kid that uh, you were known as a nose picker, and yes. that's why it, it, you know. Yeah. So hey, you you can tell us you're not picking your nose all day long. Well, but, this uh, is we, not a pick. This is like I. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, if you pick it too hard, your head will cave in. Look! Look at this. You got. You got. You got to look at this. In fact, I'll. I'll show. Uh, I'll. I'll do a picture. Up oh, a picture of me here. Uh, hey, this Kevin, is. This is you... four pages. Look at this. This is four pages, in very small print. Okay. Here. First of all, I'll show it to the TV people. See, very small print, and you can you guys see it too. Yeah. Very small print. It's uh, a, a as of June 23rd. Every lie since he went into office that Donald Trump has said, and and it's documented. The lies are documented as being lies. I won't go through all of them because there are far too many. And um, oh, but it's a book by the end of Give the term. Give us the juicy ones. What? So Give us the books. Wait, what, what did you say, Renee? I said, "Give us the whoppers." And Kevin, I'm oh, sorry. Oh no, it's it, it, it's it. Uh, it it would just take too long to, to even just <laughs> find them. Sometimes, couple. Oh. Um, oh. You know, it said uh, at one point he said that he uh, where was it? There, it was a good one too. That he was um, on the cover of Time Magazine. Oh, here we go. Uh, a, to a reporter from Time Magazine, I've been on the cover 14 or 15 times. I think we have the all-time record in the history of Time Magazine. Well, it turns out he was almost right. He was uh, there on the cover of Time Magazine 11 times, uh, but Nixon appeared 55 times. So there's a little disparity in that particular remark. So I thought that right, well, was my that, that was I my favorite. What? But, but I, I can't blame him for that. He does it. He would have to keep track of. He knows how many times he was on. He missed it by a few, but he doesn't really know. I, I've seen pictures of his office. I, They're all framed and on the wall. So he should be able to count them, right? Yeah. yeah. But he doesn't know that Nixon was on 55 times, right? Right, right. So, all right. All right. We'll give him this one, okay? 
But you might want, if you want to read them, they are all in the, uh, go to the New York Times uh, website. They have them all. It's Mm -hmm. uh, the The lie uh, about the the people cheering after 9-11, the Muslims cheering. That one, you you got to. Yeah, that's that's one of the greatest hits. They, I saw them. They were at Palisades Amusement Park on the other side of the river, right. and go. they were all cheering. I saw it. So right. did so Trump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, I mean, he was also very. What was it? What was it? He did uh, the, his whole thing about. Well, the most recent one, of course, is uh, is uh, that he had. You know, t- Comey better hope I don't have any tapes. You know, like I've got tapes, and he was saying it. He even admits he said it because he was hoping it would make Comey's testimony. <clears throat> different when he, truthful uh, truth yeah, the more truthful yeah so by lying that he had had and, taste and then he said uh, tonight uh well you know with all the leaks and everything there, there could have been tapes <laughs> you know yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah but uh, i mean come on you know what, what, kids, and, and why, do, why do you why do you tell the world you've got tapes when you haven't he, got tapes said maybe there's tapes no but I just, that's inferring you have tapes just a, uh, just a, a strong arm tactic. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. strong arm tactic. Forty-one freaking days. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, to hell with it. It's what? like he had the he had the um, the evidence that uh, he was being wiretapped by Obama. We still wait in two weeks now. Two weeks we were gonna we were gonna hear that. Yeah, he's been wiretapped by Obama. Then today he was he said something I think to Fox about the fact. That, well, oh, we we don't know the, we don't know that Obama didn't tape conversations in the Oval Office. Well, that's kind of an insinuation, but it's not a fact. We, but you could say that about anything. Well, you could say we don't know about anything. You could pick anything and say, well, well you don't know that this didn't happen. That's true, but well, it doesn't mean it well, did. But so. what is he inferring by saying that? He's inferring, right, that that uh, there is a, a possibility that this went on. So people will then go, did you hear that uh, Obama used to record stuff in his office? Because He's a manipulator. Yeah, well, you will, yeah, yeah. it's just like when he's saying that uh, Mueller and Comey are friends, and he doesn't like that, and it's not right. What's he saying? He's inferring. He wants to... I wouldn't be surprised to see something happen well, there. How, how would that that's change? Because, how would that that's change? Because how, he has no ethics. He thinks no one else does. Well, how, and if he don't like what's going on, he's going to take care how of would, it. Even let's say Comey and Mueller are friends, and they probably know each other or have been associates because they've been in the <laughs> same business together. You know, uh, but let's say let's say they are. What difference does that make? If Mueller's an honorable person, it will not affect what he, well, what he says that's or That's the does. thing. That's it, exactly it, right. He infers because of the way he is that everybody has the same sensibilities and and uh, will act the same way he does, which is unethical. Yeah. So he assumes everybody else will be unethical. Exactly. You remember you, you, uh, you remember Comey's testimony where he said that he was hoping that by leaking these things to the Columbia professor that it would create the need or uh, 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 for a independent uh, counsel to investigate. Uh, yeah. I think that's what he was referring to. Uh, he was, but he was also putting out what his side of the story was ahead of everything else. That's Ooh, what, you know. Trump or Mueller? I mean, Trump or uh, Comey? Comey. Comey. Yeah. That's yeah. why he leaked it. He, he wanted his side of the story out, so lordy if there were tapes. No, he, he, leaked, it, he leaked it before the firing. Right, uh, but he also uh, leaked it before the he didn't the like hearing. what was going on. Just right. the way a lot of other people at the White House are Sense leaking it. things because they seem unseemingly. Yep. Well, although they say that. They sensed it. Yeah, they're right. unseemingly, That's... seemingly, unseemingly. Yeah. That's why I started taking notes. Yeah. Well, oh. there's nothing wrong with taking notes. No, there isn't. It's, it's just that uh, to, to leak confidential uh, things, I think, is, uh, is, is treacherous. Those, are, those weren't confidential, <laughs> were they? They were personal notes. Yeah, but uh, he it was a, uh, a conversation between him and the president, and you would think that when the president had him one-on-one, uh, that he didn't want this information. To, he shouldn't to, have had him one-on-one. But well, they, yeah, exactly. they, I don't think he knew, and Jeff Sessions should have said something, that he is supposed to be there, and it's supposed to go between him and Sessions, and and that there isn't supposed to be direct contact with Comey. Yeah, Sessions. People are reporting... People are, reporting, on a 
people Let's are reporting un, unusual acts at the White House, and it's causing leaks because things are going on that never went on before in their time. And those things are alarming to people. And why they're not alarming to every American is just amazing. You see, yeah. now what they're saying is that these leaks are being caused by people that want to see Trump fail. And that their uh, that their purpose, uh, you know, that's a spin. That's a spin. If you're if 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 you're running if you're running a business or if you're running in any business, if you see things that are going on, you could call it a leak, but you could also call it your responsibility to point them out. And there's only whistleblowing and winner, uh, winner, the girl that they arrested, uh, winner, wiener, or something like that. They they arrested this uh, 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 reality winner. Yeah, Real- reality. How can you forget uh, that name? Yeah, and <laughs> she she was you know she wasn't seeing things on you. She was leaking stuff because she wanted to bring Trump down. No, that's what she, she said. Was, she and this is a conversation she that people. Saw wrong. She no. She what she did was, and the whole conversation is around why so many millennials are are leaking this stuff because they believe that their government is supposed to be for them and that that these millennials have a very black and white view and believe that the American people need to know this information. And if it wasn't for Snowden, we wouldn't know that they would be looking at us when our camera light wasn't on anymore. And so these millennials that are out there, thank you. Yeah, Those they got the balls are, to do it. Do they're they're heroes. You know, Those people they, they are got heroes. the balls to do it. How many times has it probably not been done in the past 40 years? Absolutely. You know? And I think it's a great thing that they're getting done. And then what did Trump do? So in the past couple of days, Trump set up some sort of thing for whistleblowers. So now that they can go around the government's actual firing process, and if you are a whistleblower, they can fire you now, Phil. That that's what Trump did. You know, if you're a businessman and you're a CEO, you're used to the private things that go on in the executive offices that nobody needs to know about. This is not how government operates. It doesn't operate. At least. Uh, democracy doesn't operate that way. Maybe maybe Russia would operate that way, but that's not how – government doesn't operate the same way a CEO's office does. Nope, nope. And that's, that's the issue. Business. So maybe Trump doesn't think he's doing anything wrong, but in the end, he's doing a lot wrong. By the way, I just know just for those for those for the, for the, wait a minute. For, hold on a second. Right, exactly. Uh, hold on a second. I, I for those for those people uh, watching, I, I apologize for keeping the camera on me for such a long time, but I forgot that I had done it, and then I didn't see it, and I'm trying to get everything else going here too. Yes, Patrick. Uh, the only thing that I I would argue against with what you're saying there, Rob, is um, when it comes to classified material regard to the military and uh, that sort of stuff, I don't believe that that uh, for the American people to know about. I think there's a reason should it classified and it's a need to know basis. Um, right. I, th- I think you're kind of there with, I don't think Trump knows the distinction between that. And I think he's trying to run the whole government as if he was running the Department of Defense. I mean, that's what it seems like to me. And um, but ignorance you know, is I, ignorance I, is not an exclu- is not an excuse of the law, right? If if you do well, something ignorant of the law, you're still going to go to prison for it. Well, he, but you know what? You can't even claim ignorance because he's got all these people surrounding him. Somebody well, got to know. No, there's there's no one there. That he didn't he didn't bring anybody in with any experience. That's the problem. Well, plus the fact that he probably wouldn't listen to him, and he has done that apparently. People oh, have told oh, him oh, that oh, meeting oh, at six thirty in the morning, telling him to mellow out, and and he just says, "Fuck you! I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing." Why would why would he be so obsessed with Twitter? That's what I don't get. How about because he if, thinks it's a. He, said to to tell me. You got a couple of beautiful kids there. It'd really be a shame if something happened to them. <laughs> oh fuck! Would that be, would that be classified? Well, or would okay, come, so, you know, where, where does the where, where does this line of where does did this he line do that, Mark? Did, did he say that? that? 
did he say no, that? No, but you're but you're saying that anything he says is 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 classified. What if he what if he really threatened them? What should Comey but he do? He didn't. He didn't. How do you know? Because Comey didn't say he did. Comey Comey said he Comey. felt Comey said he felt like Trump was was telling him what to do. But yeah, when your boss says, why, you know, I wish he would. Should have asked, and then he should you have know what it is? It, it's 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 Beckett. Uh, if you ever remember the, uh, the the play Beckett and the story in which the king, in the movie was played by Peter O'Toole, says to his men, oh, I just wish I could, uh, I, I wish I, I could get rid of this guy. Uh, he's terrible. He's horrible. He's making my life miserable. And basically he was giving them permission to go out and kill him. You know, oh, and, like and, 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 and basically that's what Trump does. Trump, and, Trump, when he's talking to a guy like Comey, is saying, "Hey, you know, if, if you don't want to play ball with me, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of you." And uh, it, it, the job of Comey was not to play ball with anybody, but to call him as he saw him. You know, that's a veiled, that's a veiled threat, and that's the thing and, that. And, if, Eventually, and if you don't leak information. What is the other recourse that you have to try to, to if if you're alarmed about something and you don't leak the information, what other recourse do you have? Think about it. If you if you are in the Oval Office or you hear a conversation mm-hmm. or you know something that's going on, and you don't, his recourse was to say I don't agree with that and either no 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 I'm not talking about not- that. I'm talking about, you know, the, there's supposedly all these minions, right, who they don't know who are leaking all this information. We hear all these tidbits about things that happen with the with the Russians in the Oval Office, right? How should we hear this? Where are we hearing it from, right? So if you are a, uh, a, a note taker, whoever these people are, and you have this information, what is your recourse if you don't tell the press? You just keep it quiet and ignore it? If you know it's wrong, what do you do? Well, you know, that's a good question. Well, there and, you and go. That's a, that's a, that's a well, moral question within the person that knows, and they got to decide whether they're going to say, okay, I'm going to leak this out and take the consequences. Right. That's look, a hero. Then, look, uh, look, also, look, look. The worst. Isn't a classified uh, document or, or something like that usually discussed beforehand? They're sitting in a room and saying, okay, this is classified stuff. We're going to do this. And then it becomes classified, right? It's not a regular conversation. And then uh, somebody writes down some notes. It's not automatically classified, like Comey's notes. Comey's you know, notes. It, Comey. It, it, Comey wrote those notes to be uh, his memory of what went on right. in those conversations. Right. That's all they were. And and, and, and none of them even leaking them. No, well, they were, they were never. They were, were well, no, it, it, leaking were leaking way. them. They would have to be classified for the word leak right. to really be used. Right. And there's usually a process to classify something, so everybody knows it's fucking classified. And I, you know, uh, Trump the then president. says he, 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 Trump then says Comey gave it to, uh, the notes to his friend. Uh, I would do exactly the same thing. Yeah, I would give a deal. copy of the notes to, to you, something. Kevin, or somebody else, or Jeff, so that you know if if uh, anything should happen to me, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's that's Don't all it is. Me, I'll burn them. <laughs> You know, I mean, uh, all you know, I'm saying is that it, it's a rather scary prospect when you think that the president of the United States fired a guy who was investigating him. And you then know, he goes it, out and says it, that that's it, why he it's fired him. It's very... He asked him. It, 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 wait a minute, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Can I finish, Phil? Uh, yeah. He... he, he uh, uh, it, 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 even if there, it, there was no malintent involved, you just don't do it. It's not... It doesn't look good. It looks shitty. Now, didn't he ask him three times, am I under investigation? And Comey said no. So if he's not investigating him, then what's well, the problem? Well, why did he ask he him two why did he ask him two other times beside the time when he said no? Don't know. But he, you know, sometimes three times is the charm. I don't know why he asked him. You know, he was, And and he you know something? Sure. It was wrong of him to ask. Well, because if he was under investigation, it, it maybe was, he wouldn't it, have... It, no, uh, it, it, it was wrong of him to ask. To ask. It was. It was le- and, and I think there's some legality in the fact that he asked that question, and that's yeah. some of the problems that he's well, danced through. We'll, we'll but see. then he came out and he told uh, Lester Holt, I fired him because of the Russian investigation. Right. 
He told us that. He told he us passed. that on videotape. He said he's talking out of both sides of his mouth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah, but it, I, I just I just think that uh, uh, you know it it's it's kind of scary. What's also scary, however, is is the way that uh, well this whole uh, Republican Obamacare thing. <laughs> the, oh, Republicare. Oh, hand, hands up. And and it's uh, very tough for him right now because I read a post that he said he rolled through dog shit and he got it on his hands. So <laughs> who's the, who said talk. this? Patrick. Right. Yeah. 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 That you rolled yeah. in dog shit. Yeah, hot dog shit. Oh. Oh. I, I it, it made me understand what you go through. That, that's that's unbelievable. Yeah, but you're changing the conversation all of a sudden out of a clear blue sky and oh, like was, driving and driving yeah. us I into. What, I thought there was a. Uh, uh, but but now I'm now I'm now I'm curious. What happened, Patrick? Okay, uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna go get on the topic. I was out running errands and then, uh, I got home and uh, I was going through the, the driveway area to get. Sidewalk. Yeah. And apparently a dog either I think it was just a little dingle bit we didn't request it. Yeah. And um I couldn't see it. Yeah. I all of a sudden my whole hand was full of dog shit. Oh, <laughs> and I and I wear gloves. And this is the thing and this is why and, and I've posted many times with, and it's mostly people from the left who bitch about um, Trump eating pizza or KFC with a knife and a fork. I do the same thing because I got to roll through all that. And today was a good example. And then if I go to the men's room, now any of you have been to a ballpark and sure. uh. in the men's room, that floor is wet and it's not. Uh. Mm -hmm. from uh, water that's pissed. I roll through everything and I use my hand. So I use silverware pretty much for everything. If I eat out somewhere, if I'm at home, I, I'm i a little bit more living on the edge. But even at home, if I have guests come over, I don't know what they're bringing in on your shoes mm -hmm. and I'm still going to roll through it. So that and one of the biggest rants that I put out there is once in a while I hear people say, oh, I don't like walking outside barefoot because my feet might eat. You know what? Shut the fuck up. Feet <laughs> 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 when I'm rolling through piss, uh, bird shit, dog shit, and a lot of this stuff you can't avoid. And like the dog shit, I figured out the reason I didn't see it it, it must have crossed it over, and it was dark, just like the asphalt. Yes, and folks, this is the only yeah, show. This is the only some this, asshole not picking up the dog shit. This is the only. Yeah. This is this is the only talk show in in broadcasting where one minute we can be talking about Trump, and then the next minute be talking about dog shit, and it's a perfect segue. Yeah, they're relative. Yes, <laughs> and be thankful, Patrick, that I guess uh, you know. I'm just say thankful that Patrick doesn't. Uh, and you know, go go into the bathhouses because uh, yeah, I've I've stepped on uh, plenty of spots. Now, now there's somebody oh, there. Yeah. 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 There is somebody who wants to join the conversation. Should I give it a try? Buy one more? Sure. Sure. Let's see what happens. I'm scared okay. <laughs> there we go. I've added him to the group, but nothing oh, happened. Up oh, here he comes. Here it comes. Is. Here he comes. Where is he? Wow. I don't see him. I uh, see his name coming. Mike. Hello. Mike, Mike five seven five seven two. Yeah, Mike. Can Hello, you see Mike. Me? Are you there? I can see him. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I can't yeah, see there. you, but apparently everybody else can. So we can you see know. Mike. Seven, eight, Welcome. nine, ten, eleven, Alex, twelve. Alex, I'm with you. I can't see him either. You can't see him either. Okay. I see him. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 it has nothing to do with the telephone. It has nothing I made my screen bigger, and I can see him now. There he is. Oh, see, yeah, see him yeah, yeah, You yeah. see, I can't make my screen yes. bigger. Otherwise, I will screw up the... Uh, I understand, uh, but 
Uh, yeah, I see them. Let All I had see. to do was get rid of the stuff on the left, and then, uh, and that wasn't the liberals. There, but, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> there he is. I've got I'm him. I'm not going to say a word about that one. I've got yeah. him. <laughs> But now I have to uh, I have to go back here and I have to change. I can uh, actually see Mike's video. As a yeah, matter of fact, I just can't see and, anybody else's, which is weird. And two and two phones. Really? I can still not see anyone phones, else. Yeah. Though. Wow. But I can see him. How many you people can... are on the citizen panel right now? Well, uh, I think. Twelve. Ten and two. This is a record. A yeah. cabinet yeah. record. Is it a, a cabinet <laughs> record? Uh, yeah, but Brian's yeah. have. Problems. Let me so. see here. Video there, to oh, yeah. I, I, have I can still hear everybody fine. And you, you can see me, go. so I, mean, I yeah. raise my hand. And... Let me see here. If I can bring that up, I think we might have everybody. No, no. Mine's no. running right across the bottom. I can see everybody. I, I, yeah. I, I have to. I'm, I, well, I'm trying to get this so I can get everybody on the screen. Uh, I and see I think, on the and screen. I think I can do it. Well, this is for the people who are watching. Okay, I'm let's see. There we Facebook. are. There they are, folks. How many? Uh, how many are we talking about now? Ten, Ten one, video, two, boom. Well, no. uh, so, uh, <laughs> so st Mike is it Mike or is it Stud? Mike. Mike. Mid yeah, Mike. Where, where, you, where are you calling? Where, 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 where are you calling? Where are you calling? He's a friend me? of uh, something twenty-two, I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, that guy, something 22? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who are you talking about? Oh, okay. Uh, Mike, I got a question about that guy. Tr mm -hmm. Trunkle? Trunkle? Mm -hmm. He does these live streams, but he's always just photographing his floor. Uh, uh, and, you know, I, I keep telling him it's like watching paint dry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all he does is photograph, you know, 90% of it is his floor. I know. I've been telling him about that. You won't listen Travis to me. So. Or something. Yeah. I was just going to say, if it, if these floors are anything like pa the floors Patrick rolls through, I don't want to see him. I agree. It's pretty clean. He the floors I've walked on. <laughs> yeah, the floors. And just out of curiosity, can't you guys hit a fucking toilet? <laughs> no, Thank no. you. I beg your, wait a minute. I beg your part. I beg your part. <laughs> You go, you go to a men's bathroom. Not if it comes out of the window. Yes. And I pitch by sound. <laughs> if, if you hear the water hitting the toilet, that's how we know we're, we're hitting it. But you have yeah. to. Bathroom is a, you is know, you know something? Room. This is why I don't have 12 Can people. Can you guys close your eyes? <laughs> wait a minute. Is that what it yeah. is? <laughs> this is the reason why I don't have 12 people on at the same wait, time. Wait, 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 it, wait, wait, it's wait, turning wait, into this. Wait, <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'd like to know what Patrick wanted to say before we got into the dog shit story. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got I got something to say. All you ladies out there, for God's sakes, put the da put up put the toilet seat up when you're done. No. <laughs> no, no. Fuck no. No. Oh, here we go. Why? Why? You know, you Mark. would you would think with all the technology that we have in this world today. That maybe we could have come up with a solution to this problem by now. Sure. You know, like it's something that detects him. whether it's a male or a female walking up to the toilet. That'd be cool. Yeah, and then it automatically goes up or down. What if it's a transgender? What are you going to do then? Oh yeah, now you go into that one. <laughs> what if it now oh, oh, uh, 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 slams uh, uh, shut on your cock? Well, you know, I, I listen. Oh. I, I'll be happy to leave the seat down if you want dribble a pee on there. Sure. So, uh, you know, if you're okay, okay by that, okay, I'm willing minute, to leave minute, it down for you. The circumference of the, of, the, of, the, of the hole for the toilet is a lot bigger than your member. How can yeah. you not aim for the center? It but dribbles. Only bigger than your I, I've gotten yelled at for a few cold asses. <laughs> hey, you know, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a solution now. You're, it came out with it came out with a toilet with this uh, with a seat warmer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's automatically yeah, but when your ass falls in the toilet, that's a little different. This show's going in the toilet. Yeah. Don't you? I don't. I just can't. I can't imagine people don't look where they're going to sit before they sit. Well, you no, can't. Come on. I look and wait. In the I always of, do. In the middle of the night, when you get up and you go over to the bathroom and the lights are out because you really don't need the lights on while it's three in right. the morning. Right. Why? You sit down and there's no ring down and you go right into the toilet. I would be. Uh, I've 
I mean, I always look for it to be up or down. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you really, are, are you so tiny that you're going to fall through the hole in the toilet? Damn yeah. straight. Are you that? Oh, jeez. I <laughs> 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 didn't I, I did start this Wait, conversation. Wait a minute. Really, Christine? Uh, no are, you, are, you that, are you that tiny? No, it's not about being tiny because those toilet bowls are big. And the fact that our fat asses fit in them means you should be hitting the mark. <laughs> if you lay the toilet seats when you get done, raise the toilet seats up. It's not yeah, easy to control those things. Well, you know, after a long night, you can get a rooster tail, too, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, with my prostate. <laughs> we actually, this, this is a record. We actually are able to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we have nine video people and oh, two telephone people. Maybe that's the reason why we have all the video people on at the same mm -hmm. time. I had to do a whole... Uh, tap dance here, widening the screen for the viewers so that we could uh, we could see uh, Mike in the picture. So yeah, well, nine so, videos. Uh, and uh, if, uh, if I could, uh, uh, you cheap yeah, ass videos. bastards out there, buy a freaking Toto toilet for your w loved ones. It takes an electrician and a plumber, but buy a freaking Toto for your loved ones. What's a Toto? That's one it's of those a uh, bidet. toilet, but it's they're got made a little in bidet Mexico. In it. What what you buy yourself a bidet? Work just the same. Yeah. yeah. Well, why do you need two holes? Why don't you just okay? Wait, right, hold on a second, folks. John Rockwell is calling. Oh, yes. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. I want to add John Rockwell here. John, yeah. are you there? Oh, we got another one. We wanted to try for twelve here, right? That's amazing. Yeah, but we but we wait a minute. Are we going to get video on him? Yes. Here we are. We oh, have that's crazy. We have yeah. eleven and two. <laughs> Hi guys, I came in late. I just got here about back home about 10, 15 minutes ago. I was like, there are eleven people on. Wow. Well, more than that, more than happened. that. If you add the two phones, it's like uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, 13. five, six, 12, 12, seven, 12, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, no. Wait a minute. Wait. It's eleven video and two phone. Eleven video and two there? phone. So that and plus me, and that's fifteen. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's, yeah. that's including you. That's with you, yeah. yeah. 13, yeah. I think. Uh, 14. It's still, it's not bad. Guys, who don't See, when you flip that breaker, you got all kinds more power, and now it's really now it's really cranking. Yeah, now it's really cranking. <laughs> right. Because so, yeah. that's how it works. What did Patrick <laughs> want to say? <laughs> Does Patrick remember what he wanted to say? Yeah, Patrick. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 20 minutes to go on dog ship story show. Yeah. So, so did the dog shitting something go into your apartment and everything? All of us guys are perfect. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm sorry, what, Mark? Not not all of us guys are perfectly straight, so aiming is sometimes a problem. Especially for <laughs> <Brian. laughs> It's almost yeah, like something like right? Sometimes it comes out like windshield yeah, exactly. too. A little bit, a little bit <laughs> left. That's why you got to have two bathrooms, one That's for the guy, one for the woman. That's no, the rooster you, tail, Brian. You know what? You, <laughs> well, you don't easy. actually have to tell us you can't find a hole, whether it's lit or not. <laughs> easy. The lady will put a lot house for the ladies. The ladies go outside, use the odd house, and then stay inside. Oh, yeah. Okay, pound it up your ass, old man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do to you guys. My, my <laughs> toilet well, only, is only if you buy me a steak first. Oh, okay. <laughs> My toilet has a heated seat, it has a bidet, and it has a blow dryer, and it has max flush, so I don't have to clean it that often. Why do you need oh, a heated shit. seat in Hawaii? Wait a minute, why do you need a blow dryer? Do you have air? What? <laughs> and a bidet. Oh, by the way, we have 13. <laughs> we all have to after the bidet. <laughs> if I ever go to Hawaii, I want to go to your bathroom. <laughs> I'll make sure I leave the first attraction. <laughs> Alex had his hand up. You know what? I, I, yeah, I'd be, I can't even get a word in edgewise with this many people. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> what did you want to say? This is why I always said I was glad the citizen panel could only be nine people. You know, I mean, it's, it's a question is it Tell managing? anybody. You do this all along, right? Now, no, now it says my OBS uh, uh, thing reconnected. 
OBS reconnection successful. So let's see if we're still broadcasting and people are getting the video. Uh, yeah, they're still. Well, I see uh, you. But yeah, yeah I can they're getting see it. it. Yep, they're getting it still. Yep, 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 yep. If you're married and you want a happy person next to you, yeah. get a Toto or Mark. If you don't need a new toilet, Mark Cuban has a retrofit one for any toilet. And he and he finances that company. Have you done yeah. research on this? Oh, honey, I've got two. It's the first thing I installed when I got to Hawaii. You know, this is the best. This is the best. This is the best job I've ever had. I don't even have to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have just one. I have two. Boy, this show has gone down the tubes. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. You know, soon on on eBay and Amazon, my shower bidet. Uh, invention will uh, will be available. We'll see if it uh, see if it works. Uh, it's uh, it's like a douche uh, for fat people, and what they do is they get in the shower and they Let wash just, their uh, behind. A raise of hands from the guys. Any guys here ever try using a bidet? Yes, it's hard. With a toto, it's 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 you don't use a bidet. You just sit down and it takes care of everything. Yeah, but you have yeah. to aim that thing right. Well, no, no, you got to stand. Wait, does does it mean that means it it wipes your bottom too? Yeah, you got to stand over a bidet, and then you got to uh, you got to adjust the uh, height of the flow to, uh, to to hit the important parts. But it, it, if you have too much pressure, uh, it, it's, it's it hurts. It's like, no, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. I don't see how they how they use them and 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 get the cleanliness that they're looking for. You have too much pressure. You go. Ooh. Okay, so so we yeah, went. We, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We went from we went from talking about Trump to dog shit to bidets. It's still. Uh, it's got it, a remote it's control. A it's a conversation. Oh my god! <laughs> so you could sit there for an extra ten minutes and really get clean, right? Yeah. <laughs> and dry. <laughs> Do you still use paper uh, if you use this toilet? Can I can okay, I so can I ask a question of the two women? A lot less toilet let, paper. let me ask the question of the two women that are here. Okay. Years ago, they came out with, and, and they don't really. I don't think they're around anymore. Uh, 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 vaginal freshening sprays. Do you remember those? Oh, you use them. Like autumn fizz or whatever. Summer's the name Eve. Summer's Eve. Eve. Summer's Eve. Summer Eve. Yes, and that. what I always said that that was the perfect example of what advertising is all about is you create a uh, a a insecurity in people, and then you supply the solution to that insecurity. And that's what advertising is all about. Do you and, remember the and commercial? And I just want to can I finish, Phil? Huh? Does she or doesn't she? So I, 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 you, know, you ruined my timing when you jump in like that, <laughs> crying out loud. Uh, uh, and I often wondered, you know, what woman knew her vagina smelled bad? You know, do you, put your head, do you put your head between your product. legs and try and smell it? You know? It's a man's product. It isn't anything a woman would use. We are self-contained, and we shouldn't be spraying didn't they, didn't they, perfume chemicals anywhere near well, us. Well, didn't they find that that stuff was actually bad for what they call the flora and fauna of your vagina? Mm -hmm. Isn't so. that a nice way of putting it? It sounds like you're at the... Uh, at, at the at, uh, 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 I'm having flashbacks to the Summer's Eve uh, commercial, so go ahead. <laughs> Going to this thing that you just said, Alex, about creating a situation. Do you remember the commercial where they'd say, is your dog getting enough cheese? Yes. How do you know your dog yeah. even wants fucking cheese? <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. So when you were talking about that, that's that's what I was and thinking I, about. If I remember correctly, and I may be wrong, if you feed your dog cheese, doesn't he fart a lot? Yeah. yeah it's not good. Diarrhea. It's the a whole. milk product. Yeah. 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 I mean, I can, milk products yeah, you, can make anyone fart a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, we're not going on to what comes out of a dog's butt. I'm going to stop that. I'll stop it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I just don't. Uh, uh, no, hey, uh, Phil else. brought it up, but they did say there was an ad that said, is your dog getting <laughs> enough cheese? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I mean, there's all kinds That's, of answers to that question, yeah. but um, yeah, that fits into exactly what you say. They make a situation uh, a negative that you know that all of a sudden, well, geez, is my dog getting enough cheese? You know. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. They don't um, need cheese. So, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. John Rockwell has his hand up. I have, I know, I have a, 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 a parallel thing to that. About a hundred years ago, we nobody was making deodorant sprays. That was definitely created by ad agencies. To they 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 made ads in the papers showing women sort of you know looking at their am I fresh? Do I feel? Because before that, people were just washing or they were putting on perfume and stuff. To actually create to use like. Roll-on roll on or, or deodorant sprays was actually yeah. the popularity of it was created by advertising. It wasn't that people thought they smelled bad. They well, were told uh, they uh, smelled well, bad. Well, actually, uh, when I start uh, getting gamey, I, I, did, I, gamey <laughs> I can tell, you know. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. and, uh, if you're ever in Europe <laughs> in the summertime. <laughs> oh. Well, oh, 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 hey, I it, used to be, a, 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 when I was in IT as a, a technician, <laughs> We, I used to work for a company that was a parent company was Technicolor, which is owned by a French – their French company Technicolor now. Yes. And they used to have their board meetings in our conference room in New York City. And all these French people and they're oh, all – the board members, they're all wealthy and they would all need me to help them get on this conference call. And I'm leaning over them and I'm trying – they got these French keyboards, right? Everything's in – Windows is in French, and I'm trying to decipher what I'm seeing to remember the OK button is not the cancel button because it's in another language. And you're up next to these people, and every one of them stinks from the CEO of the company, Technicolor, all the way down. These are wealthy people, and they just reek. It's just, yep. it's, it's cultural. Yeah, it's cultural. It's cultural. It's cultural. The joke about the butcher and the chicken. Yeah. It's not the same it's, in Europe. It's, it's, it's no. not the same. They don't like. They don't spray themselves down like we do. It's not. <laughs> well, how do you? What do you it's think? Uh, Axe body spray. Yeah. Oh God. That, no. That's what they it created. One of the reasons they created Axe body spray is because they needed to get younger people to spray that on because they're not taking baths or showers. That the Axe is awful. Treat you. Oh, it's a lot. I use either Aramis or Vetiver by Girl. I, I really don't like to use uh, a deodorant at all. I mean, if I if if uh, if I finally need deodorant, I'm I say to myself, I guess I better take a shower. You know. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, sometimes when you're outside, it's hot. You don't want to stain your shirt or anything like that. So the deodorant and anti. I don't. I don't think the fact that you're perspiring. Well, to begin with. What is the wisdom of putting something uh, to plug up your perspiration? Yeah, that I isn't mean, good for save you. Save on dry cleaning. It, it, no, no, wait a minute. Yeah, that isn't wait. good for you, though. No, but it, it isn't perspiration important to yes. your natural body functions? And yep. if you use an antiperspirant, yeah. I mean, you're and stopping. You got people going out and having operations now to block it all off. By the way, I want to hear. What? I want to hear something from two people. One is is um, Mr. Green. Who hasn't said really much of anything tonight? Oh, we had a great conversation when we were off the air. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you talk when I'm not here, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> we're honest about it, sure. <laughs> well, what, were you, what, were you, what were you talking about, Mark? Uh, I thought that guy Philandro Castillo got murdered by the cops. Mm. Oh, okay. And, and it was like, what does a guy with with a concealed carry permit do? Yeah. When the cops pull him over and the guy says, I, ha I, I have a gun. As soon as that cop told, as soon as he told the cop he had a gun, the Shut cop shot him seven times. You know, so the, that, it, well, yeah, well, I, 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 I agree with you because if the guy says, hey, I want to let you know I've got a gun in the car. He is yeah. trying to avoid a situation rather that's, than, you that's know. Exactly. That's my take. Phil has a different I'm view. Sorry. Well, Phil's is of a of a cop, which they're all scared like little pussies, and they, they uh, you know, they can't do no, their job it adequately. Was a of, oink, oink. It was a matter of following <laughs> directions, and yeah. what happened was, uh, I saw the uh, the dash cam video where the cop was telling him, "Don't reach for the gun, don't reach for the gun," and he reached uh, uh, probably mistakenly for his wallet, but instead of him saying, uh, "I won't," uh, you know. Let me show you reach my hand. Hey, hey, Phil, don't you don't you don't enough of the excuses. Don't you wait until you times. see a gun. Don't you mm -hmm. wait till you see a gun. He may have been going for his wallet or his insurance or whatever else he was he, getting. He may have. 
But the, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yes, yes, uh, Mr. Green. Mark yeah, but the, the other point I wanted to make tonight is if Democrats cannot beat Republicans when Trump is president, they should just quit. Should I just agree. Quit. Trump is yep. one of the biggest crooks around. He is the biggest crook around. You guys need to get rid of Pelosi and go a little more centrist. You're right. No, I don't agree with that last statement. I think we should go really. Uh, I think we should go. Just, we should careen just completely there. off the road to the left, and just become unremitting in our in our in our steadfastness of what we believe, because that's exactly what the Republicans do. You know, how, how, how and how did give America for? give America a fucking choice. You know. I don't know who's trying to call, but it's too late to join the party. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, uh, not necessarily. <laughs> not necessarily. Yeah, we should, with these many people, I could just you know go in the other room, watch a little TV. You, know you would, guys you know could would talk be to cool? each other. Alex, you actually, know what? you did. What? You know what would be cool, Alex? Yeah. If you if you could take the citizen panel, you got this show going. Yeah. And it could be seamless going into Jack's show. Yeah. You would just say, "Okay, I'm Alex Bennett. Have a great weekend." Uh, and then, and then Jack Jack's and, taking and Amy take over, right. boom, and, and that'd be really cool. There's no way to do that, though. Well, uh, I don't know. It went it's off before. Remember, it went off before, and it stayed on for some That's true. strange reason. Jack, if so, Jack calls in, maybe he can just carry well, it on. Well, 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 wait a minute. Well, here's here's what we could do. I could sign off here. Well, I, I, yeah, I could sign off here, and you people could just. Stay where you Jack are. Jack could call in right now. No, no, yeah. no, no. Where you stay where you are, and let's just see if it carries over to him. Uh, I will, I will sign it off from here. But uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I won't. But, but I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't stop the group. Let me put it that yeah. way. Okay, I'll right, just stop Skype. the picture. He he closed Skype before because everything went out. It wasn't a matter of that. Yeah, well, let, let, let's just see what well, happens. Everybody, stay right where you are, and we'll all see right. if, if 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 all of a sudden when Jack goes to the to Skype, all you people are there. And if you're not there, hey, have a nice weekend, everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, and thanks and so thanks for have to turn the Skype on. Uh, yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah. Thanks for. Uh, it should work. Yeah, well, you, normally how I sign off is I just simply end the group, but I won't end the group. I will turn. Right. I will turn my Skype off and We're let him turn his today. Skype on Good. and see if he gets you guys. And if it's so, stay there. But if if they well, somebody already left. Uh, John left. Rockwell already. Well, left. Hopefully he's listening. Okay. So Alex, are you signing off? Yeah, I'm signing off. Yes, yeah, stay there, Christine. Oh. Stay where you are. Has, Everybody well, stay with well, And I have a great topic, so I can't wait to go to the next one. Okay, right. well, uh, then stay there. Hopefully, maybe Jack will get all these people. We don't know. How about that for a well, teaser? This, well, this is, listen, this, listen, this is, yeah. okay, I, I got and, it. And, and, and let me throw in Anthony Weiner's situation. Okay, okay. All right, got to go. Oh. Bye, everybody. Good night. Have a good yeah, weekend. Bye, okay, Anthony. bye. <laughs> bye. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, let me see here. Let me, uh, first of all, let me turn me on here uh, so that you can all see me. Uh, here we go. There we go. All right. Okay, and I thank you all for having joined me on uh, the Ramble. And uh, we'll see you again uh, on, uh, I see everybody's there still, uh, even though I have signed off. Okay, so let's see what happens with Jack. Anyway, hey everybody, uh, stay tuned for Jack and Amy next over most of this same gap net. I'll see you again on uh, Tuesday, uh, right here, same time, same station, and live in the meantime. You see her, tell her I love her, okay? If he signed so, off Skype, he yeah. said he closed off signed- Skype. Hold on a second, hold on. What happened to the theme? Oh well, goodbye everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs>